Hi, I'm Kevin Francis. Welcome back to my channel. First thing first is I want to apologize for the last two videos that I put out there. The sound quality was not my normal uh, performance. Um, still trying to figure out what caused those issues. I posted them anyway because there's a lot going on in my life and I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Um, hopefully this one, this video, much, much better. So that's my goal. Uh, welcome to my channel, Kevin Francis. So the second thing is I try not to spend a lot of money in this hobby failing in some areas. I'm not perfect. Okay. Um, but I'm going to open this up. Uh, I recently purchased this. Uh, so let me open it up. I want to take on a large project in the near future. And I don't know if this will work for that project, but that project is to use a Raspberry Pi to create a go-to mount. And to do that, I'm going to need to be able to control both the RA and declination axes. And so when I was online, I saw this, this is from Orion, um, and they say it will work with my Orion Astro View mount. So, but this should be a dual, Oops. open it upside down. Dual axis DC drive system. So I'm going to install this and so my first step is to take off the current motor assembly and I have to start with this Allen key here. Loosen that up like so, so that it's, I can detach it. Hopefully you can see me loosening that up right here like that. Okay. So that's sufficiently loose and that should take it off of the mount. And then the next thing is I need another Allen key to undo this bottom bolt. So now to take off the uh, bottom bolt, put my Allen wrench in there and I have to loosen the other direction for sure. go drop the screw but that's now off and we're ready to put on the next piece so here I have the RA motor that's gonna go into the same spot the last one came from I'm gonna start by initially attaching it onto haha <laughs> I've got to loosen the set screw first hold on there. I'm going to leave that a little bit loose for now <clears throat> because what I need to do is I need to now get the flat side of this, uh, the RA shaft, to match up to the set screw because it doesn't match right now. Okay, so now I have turned to the, the shaft to make sure that the flat on this shaft matches with the uh, sleeve that's on the uh, motor itself. So now I'm going to tighten it down. And then I'm going to tighten down the set screw. Not a lot of room to work with in here like this. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's it. That's the install of the RA motor. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So now I have to install the clutch assembly for the declination motor, and that's what this is. And so same thing with the other one, you wanna loosen up the set screw so that you're able to attach it to your attachment point, to your shaft. And this is currently not in the right position. So I have to rotate this full 180 like that. 
and then that's going to go right on here like that and you want to get that set screw right into the flat so that it, it really holds itself on there nice and tight okay so that's it that's that step so this is the declination motor and we've got to attach this declination motor to that clutch assembly so to see how I'm doing this, I'm going to try and turn this 180 again and try to do this assembly for you. You've got to match the gears here to the gears here on the clutch assembly. Okay. See if I can do this. Got a screw. Start threading that into its place. And then I've got to get the correct Allen wrench for that. And I can already see that it's not lined up properly. And I don't know if you can tell here in this video, but from here to here, there's a huge gap. So we're gonna, I'm gonna adjust this uh, clutch assembly to match here. But first, let's get this installed. Here we go. Okay, so that one's installed. Now take this Allen key here, loosen that up a little bit, slide it up just so we've got a good mesh. And there it is. Okay, so to give you a little bit of how this clutch system is working, I'm um, going to show that to you. I moved my handle back, so it's now attached to the opposite side of the shaft. Okay, and so I'm going to loosen the clutch, and what you'll see is that clutch system is turning, but not the motor. Okay, so this allows me to control the declination on my own with my handle uh, if I wanted to. And then when I'm ready to have it move on its own, I lock that clutch in place, and now you can see I have movement on the motor side, okay? So that'll all be controlled by the controller itself, which um, looks like this. The light might be too bright. Okay, so on the RA and declination, uh, well, this labeled as such on the controller itself. So six volt power supply, which I have uh, a USB version of that. And this wire here is for declination and the other wire here is for RA. So if we just take those and plug them in, like so. Like so. Now we have all the control for the entire mount that we need. Okay. Now, I said I wanted to use this for a project in the future, so I'm looking into taking this apart, which will void my warranty, so sorry, Ryan, uh, but uh, this is me. This is what I do, and uh, I'm going to do all the electrical work on the inside necessary to connect a Raspberry Pi to this or these wires specifically, and um, then I can have Stellarium control them out, basically make this a go-to and point my telescope where I need it to be pointed. So that's a longer term project, but you'll hopefully see that uh, in the coming videos, okay? So this is the point where I'm supposed to tell you that the new motor controller that I have worked out great. And then I'm supposed to show you this beautiful picture that I took of the Crescent Nebula, which is my target. And unfortunately, I can't do that because this didn't work. Uh, it started to track no problems to begin with while I was doing my polar alignment. But uh, then all of a sudden that green light turned to red and it stayed red the entire night. It didn't matter what power source I put this on, it stayed red the entire time. So I can't control the motors. Uh, the RA motor just runs at the highest speed. So of course my stars look like this. They look like long tracks in the sky. And then to top it off, outside it's raining. Um, on 
top of that, we are moving. We've moved ourselves from Virginia to South Carolina. Hey YouTubers, it's a cloudy day, look up, but it's also a moving day. So we're leaving the state of Virginia, heading to South Carolina. January of this year, I took another job. It's gonna be a good adventure. I get to learn astrophotography in a different part of the world. And hopefully that helps things for me get better, helps my astrophotography get better. Look forward to the next chapter. Keep going beyond.